Reason number one, Warner Brothers hires an Oscar recognized actor to play Batman in every Batman movie. All of these Batman have been nominated for an Oscar at least once, and all of these Batman have gone on to win the award. Same thing goes for the villains. All of these actors have been nominated, and these actors have gone on to take the trophy. Reason number three, Batman movies always have a villain or a hero that played a hero or a villain in another comic book movie. The Mad Doctor in Batman and Robin was Lex Luthor's daddy in Smallville. Gamble was Spawn 11 years earlier. Ben Affleck was Batman for DC and Daredevil for Marvel. And Keaton is scheduled to star as the villain in Spider-Man Homecoming. Reason number four, all Batman movies have two actors that start as enemies in another film together. Christian Bell and Michael Caine in Prestige. Commissioner Gordon and the main prisoner were both enemies in The Fifth Element. Maggie and Negan love each other as Bruce Wayne's parents, but can't stand each other in The Walking Dead. The Copperhead and the Black Mamba from Kill Bill are in this movie together, and Dr. Thomas Wayne and the Joker were both in The Shining. Reason number five, Batman movies make it hard to trust corporate America. There's always a corrupt company in all of these movies. Axis Chemicals, Snowy Cone's Ice Cream, LSI Holdings, and LexCorp are all doing something illegal, and when you factor in the fact that Bruce is using company dollars to fund the Batcave and not reporting it to the IRS, you can't really trust Wayne Enterprises either. Reason number six. In every Batman movie, there's a scene where a hero is supposed to run over a bad guy, but since he doesn't kill people, he skits at the last minute and crashes his vehicle instead. He almost runs over the Joker. This Bruce almost runs over the Joker too. He almost runs over Mr. Freeze, but changes his mind at the last second. And he almost runs over Superman. Reason number seven. There's a gambling scene in all Batman movies. Bruce bets on underground MMA fighting. Batgirl gambles on motorcycle races. The rich folks here are gambling. And Harvey bets on his life. But he makes his own luck. Reason number eight. In all Batman movies, someone gets their superpowers or creates their alter ego after they fall into a batch of liquid. Victor Freeze falls in this to become Mr. Freeze. Jack fell into this to become the Joker. General Zod is thrown into this to make him Doomsday. And Harvey fell into the gasoline and washes it out with fire to become Two-Face. Speaking of alter egos, everybody knows everybody's secret identity in all Batman movies. And once everybody knows, in my opinion, it doesn't count as a secret identity. He barely knows Victor and tells her he's Batman. Nobody really knows Barbara. Not only is she given the secret identities of Batman and Robin, but they make her a hero too. Lucius acts like he couldn't even lie for Bruce and basically confirms the accountant's theory is right and Bruce is Batman. And in Dawn of Justice, Lois knows Superman's identity, Superman knows Batman's identity, and Batman knows everybody's identity and so does Lex. Reason number 10. In all Batman movies, Bruce uses art to try to get women. Bruce pretends he's into the performing arts in the Dark Knight when he's dating Natasha the ballerina. The fictional famed heart of Isis from the Bruce Wayne collection is used so Bruce could try to get with Poison Ivy. Vicky only likes Bruce after she sees his art collection and Wonder Woman's panties fall quicker than the Rotten Tomato scores for the movie at the part where her and Bruce are at the exhibit. Reason number 11. All Batman movies try to show you Bruce is an excellent investigator, but he usually solves most of his cases by watching the news. So really all you need to be a crime fighter is your local cable provider pretty much. Reason number 12. All Batman movies show Batman violating the one party consent law and proves he belongs in Arkham Asylum just like the other people he gets arrested. In Batman, he records a conversation between the two reporters without their consent. Wayne Enterprises invests in satellites that could spy on everyone in Gotham in Batman and Robin. Just don't point it at my bedroom. Bruce records every conversation from the Russian guy's phone in Batman v Superman. And Lucius almost quits in the Dark Knight because Batman's gone mad and spies on every phone call made in the 735 area code. Reason number 13. Batman is always busy fighting crime, but I never feel sorry for him because it's his fault crime exists in the first place. He's the one that let Joker go to create the Joker and Batman. In Batman and Robin, it's his company's chemicals and equipment that are used to create Bane and Poison Ivy. If Bruce would have just listened to Harvey and just let Harvey die and Rachel live, Two-Face would have never existed. And in Batman v Superman, Batman is only V-ing Superman because Batman didn't want to listen to Superman when Clark said he didn't want to fight him. Reason number 14. All Batman movies have a damsel in distress, but it kind of makes you upset since the damsel puts herself in distress for no reason. Lois volunteers volunteers to meet the terrorists for a secret meeting. Vicky volunteers to meet Joker for dinner for a secret meeting. Barbara volunteers to risk her life and if I was Robin, I would have just let her die to teach her a lesson. And Rachel forgets how to shut up when she's in the presence of gunmen because she really wants
wants to know how Joker got his scars. Reason number 15. In all Batman movies, the Batman wins because no one realizes the best way to beat the Bat is to commit your crimes before 5.30 p.m. Batman can't save the guy wearing hockey pads because he was killed in the daytime. Batman can't stop the Joker because him and his goons shoot people in the daytime. When Barbara tried to break into Batman's mansion, Batman never saw it coming because it was in the daytime. And if Zod and Superman would have attacked Metropolis at night, I'm willing to bet this guy would have still been able to do jumping jacks. Reason number 16. All Batman movies have homosexual innuendos. Joker dresses in women's clothing. Batman and Robin starts off with the bat cock, bat butt, and bat nipple scene. And George Clooney even admitted in an interview that he purposely made Batman gay. Batman walks up to the painting and from his angle, it looks like he inserts his face in the guy's buttocks. And then right after, he immediately asks Joker if he wants any nuts. Now you want to get nuts? Come on. Let's get nuts. Gay. Also, Joker's henchman is caught on tape making a lick you like a lollipop gesture to someone in the crowd. But when it goes to a wide shot, it looks like he was just trying to lick one of the dudes. And in Batman v Superman, there's a scene where Clark passes the two guys tonguing each other down. Reason number 17. No one ever checks for a post in Batman movies because someone always has a fake death. The people in both of these movies thought Joker was dead when he wasn't. And the commissioner faked his death in the Dark Knight. Nora Freeze dies when Poison Ivy pulls the plug. And then Mr. Freeze gets super pissed until he finds out Batman plugged her back up and superman had not one but two funerals and it doesn't make any kind of sense because he's not even dead he was just resting his eyes it's surprising people even die in batman movies in the first place because guns don't even work in these movies harvey gets a gun pulled on him and nothing happens and then when he has a gun pointed at the joker he's all like forget it or whatever nothing's gonna happen trust me and batman and robin so much guns and like so many lives aren't lost obviously superman is bulletproof so i get it but batman isn't so i don't understand why nobody wants to shoot him but if he gets shot he'll probably still live because he gets shot in batman and lived twice reason number 19 someone's always making it rain in batman movies joker makes it rain with money batman makes it rain on poison ivy and lex makes it rain on superman reason number 20 there's always a scene in every batman movie where someone's choking on poisonous gas reason number 21 the main villains always start off as secondary villains in batman movies joker was hired by grissom at the beginning but joker takes over by the end mr free started off as the main villain but he got tricked into working for the secondary villain poison ivy making her the woman in charge Joker was working for the mob, but he ends up taking command. And Lex was in charge of Doomsday, and then Doomsday said for get it and became the boss at the end. Reason number 22. The Dark Knight is a cock blocker and he's always embarrassing people in front of the women they love. He beat up Clark so bad in front of Lois, I'm not even sure Lois is attracted to Kryptonians anymore. He tried to embarrass Joker in front of Vicky and it backfired. Bruce put Harvey in a mean chokehold in front of Rachel and he caught more L's than the word Lily that day. And when Robin is in love with Poison Ivy, Batman keeps ruining their chances. I think it's stupid that Bruce always tries to show off in front of the ladies, but I can't really blame him because he's got so many women to show off in front front of. He gets busy with a different woman in every movie and in The Dark Knight he at least shares all of the women on the boat with Alfred. Reason number 24. Batman always tries to kill his enemies but at the last minute he remembers it's a felony and tries to save him instead. He tries to save Jack, saves the Joker, lets Mr. Freeze live, and lets Superman live too. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps> <laughs> Best elevator music I've ever heard. <laughs>